What's going on, people? My name is Eric Piccioni. I'm documenting my journey to financial freedom. And I wanted to make this video to highlight something that is extremely important when it comes to reaching new heights and really getting out of this bubble that you've lived in. Uh, for uh, quite some time, we've had some challenges with like finances, not now, but like back backwards, maybe two years ago, there was just a lot going on. I mean, we're young, we, we still have to like get some momentum with our, our financial statuses and, and get some, some things moving on our end. And more recently, what's been really, really interesting is instead of us doing a million things and us doing all these different tasks and hustles and all these different, you know, jobs, we essentially cut out all the fat and just went after the things that we actually enjoyed things we were good at, things we could monetize, and things that actually bring an impact to the community. So I had probably 10 to 20 different in income sources that were all like, you know, $5 here, $20 there, $100 here, cut out all of that. And we, we've dialed in on the core main income sources that have brought us more than 80% of our revenue. Imagine that we've now made significantly more over the past year than we've made in like the past two to three years combined. So what I'm getting at with that is two parts to this video. First, focus on one, maybe two things that you can make a lot of money from. Like cut out all the bullshit. Stop thinking that you're going to do 20 things before you can get really good at one thing. Yeah, they say to diversify, but what they don't say is that they do that after they've already solidified their presence within one industry and they have the ability and the flexibility and the freedom to do all of these things and diversify. You look into their portfolio of what these really rich people do, they earn probably 90% of their money from one thing and then they use that to buy more of other things that help them buy more of the first thing or expand more of the first thing ideally like you look at these real estate guys they earn a lot of their money in real estate and then they start like all these businesses and then you you hear their podcast or their video from like you know pretty recently and they're like oh yeah the best thing you can do is diversify but meanwhile they forgot somehow that their main source of revenue when they were getting the ball rolling was real estate or guys that have these businesses they have like this one successful business and then they start to branch out because of it that's what you need to do now, so if you're for me, like I'm in sales, like I think the biggest thing that I can do with my time as far as like getting a good ROI, earning as much as humanly possible with one thing, using that to then buy more things, ideally assets that are going to give you money over time. So real estate's a big one for us. Vending machines is a big one for us. And just like other assets around that industry or those industries that then help us scale Long term, right? So you earn 100K, you take a portion of that to buy more properties, more assets over time, right? I'm not saying everyone can make 100K right now, but that's the end goal. Focus. Focus on one thing, <laughs> please. Second part of this video is the, the, the value of setting goals. Because a while back, again, same exact thing. I had 20 goals and it, as you can imagine, distracted the shit out of me where I was doing too much, was doing way too much of everything and I needed to do one thing really well. I would rather go, I mean, what I used to do, I guess, is what I'll say is I used to go like a mile in a million different directions, but recently I go a million miles in one direction because I have a sole focus or very specific focus. So what my wife and I do is instead of us having 20 goals and you know, for us, we do annual, annual goals or yearly goals rather than us have like 20 goals that we have to do every month or that we get to do every month, do, you know, break it down into like daily, ta daily tasks or whatever. I think of it more of a North star. This is where we want to go. This is what we need to do. And we have a year to do it. Yes, there's like a Parkinson's law to it where 
you know, if you give yourself a year, it'll take a year. If you give yourself three months, it'll take three months. I think that's very true, but these aren't goals that can be done in three months. You can't just like earn two, you know, 250 K. I'm not saying that's a goal of ours. I'm not saying like we can earn financial freedom or make 250 K in like a month, right? You do have to think differently if you want to get there. But I think the goals need to be big enough, but also attainable enough within a year. But even then, it's like, if you know you can make 100K, don't set a goal for 100K. Go for like 200, right? Like at least a multiple of whatever it is that you're going for. Because if you miss, obviously you'll you'll land short of it, but you'll still surpass your original expected, expected goal of what you could have done. So focus, cut out the bullshit and have a North Star. Have, have like maybe, I would say five would be your max, but ideally they're all encompassing the same theme so for us again financial freedom is a goal but how do you reach that like that's a i think that's a subjective thing where to someone else like what we're doing right now could technically be financial freedom I and mean, we could we could put everything else on pause we could leave our jobs and in essence live off of our recurring revenues from our businesses and our rental properties and things like that however for us, it's much easier to, to quantify it in a dollar value. So we're doing a couple things, right? We have business loans that we've taken out for our vending machine business. We have a HELOC that we took out for our other real estate property to buy this one to then we technically bought this house for zero down because, or for zero dollars out of pocket because we didn't have to spend any of our own money. It was all generated through the equity in our previous home. Another conversation for another day. That being said, our main focus for right now, and we're days away from knocking this out, let's go, is paying off the vending loan by September 30th. We're about a month ahead of schedule. We set that goal in like February or March, and we had like barely any savings put aside. And, you know, we put a pretty expedited timeline. I was thinking of making an annual goal. We shortened it down to like six months from the time that we set it. And sure enough, it happened. <laughs> so that's, uh, that's pretty cool. I mean, we already have the funds. It's just like they're moving around right now from banks. So we'll, we'll have it for sure paid off in like four days. And then the other thing is like a quantifiable number, not only on the debt pay down, like debt paid off by the end of the year. That's another goal of ours. Um, and a more short-term goal, again, is paying off just one specific loan, the vending loan. And then come the end of the year, the other part of it is we want to earn a certain revenue number by the end of the year, which is 250 k It's not super simple. Like, you have to think, how can I, how can I do it? Not, you know, I can't. Right? You have to think how bigger, like open-ended, how is this possible? So, again getting right into it again, doubling down, focus, focus on one, maybe two things, both on a day to day aspect, but also like long term goal aspect, you need to stop doing too many things, you need to just stop distracting yourself from all of these things that you told yourself were cool, I promise you on everything that I own, the thing that has helped us progress the fastest in our life is focusing on the critical few that are going to move the needle the fastest, being patient and focusing on a long-term horizon as well. Having that as your North star of, you know, this is where we want to go and this is where we need to go and need to stay if we want to achieve the goals that we set forth for ourselves. So I hope that helps. Let me know if you have any thoughts, any comments, any feedback on, the, on this video. I want to make this channel collaborative and I want to share what we're experiencing along the way in terms of reaching financial freedom, because a lot of people that have already gotten there, they've lost the context along the way of what they did to get to that point, even like the day to day. So that's what this channel is about. Thank you for watching. Stay tuned. God bless.